before the surgery, we like to give the patients an opportunity to meet all of the members of the team again. It's important that they have a chance to ask me any more questions that they might have, raise any issues that they are concerned about. They'll also meet the neurologist and he'll give specific instructions about the timing of their medications before the operation because that's very important. The anaesthetist plays a critical role here. The anaesthetist is responsible for making sure that the patient isn't too heavily sedated to the point where their tremor disappears before we have a chance to stimulate and also to make sure that the patient's comfortable in terms of their pain relief and to make sure that other things like their blood pressure is, un is under control. The last thing that we want to see is a very high blood pressure during the operation because that can increase the risk of hemorrhage and stroke. Whilst there are a significant number of specialists involved in this procedure and a lot of very high-tech specialised equipment, the patient plays a crucial role in their own procedure. The patient's ability to cooperate and to give us information back that we need to determine where to put the electrode, that, that's really vital. And so what we try to do is to make the patient feel as comfortable before the surgery as well as during the surgery. And that involves giving them as much relevant information as we can and getting as much information from them as possible so that we can adjust what we're doing to improve their comfort levels during the operation.